good evening and welcome to the Coaches of the Common. Tonight is our 14th episode, it's a really special episode because tonight we're going to learn from these two here. I'm really fortunate, Apollo and Artois have been with me for many years now and they are a really important part of the Common and they actually help to coach our clients here. And the reason that they do that is they're actually really good coaches, they've got lots of stuff they can actually teach us. So I thought, why not get them here live on set, and rather than me tell you what we can learn from dogs, we can hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Dog. What? Dog's mouth. You said horse. But, but that's just an idiom. What are you calling an idiom? Okay, let's start again. I'm chatting to my two wonderful dogs, Apollo and Artemis, and we're going to find out what, from what we as humans can actually learn from. So let's start with you, Artemis. Yes. What are you thinking? You seem to have that worried look on your face. I do get worried. Sometimes I worry about whether Mummy will come home, like when you left us at home the other day. Now, Artemis, Mummy always comes home. Oh, 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 that feels good. Oh, that's good. Right. Oh, now, you need to keep your thoughts more positive and stay in the moment. Mummy was just allowing us to have some time out. But how do I stay in the moment? I think I think I think too much. That's not true. Think about it. That's my problem. Wait. Every morning we go on the same walk, the same route, the same interesting things to see, the same amount of time, the same people, the same dogs, or the same fences to be on, and yet we get so excited. That's true. I love walks. Ah, walks. Uh... Guys, focus. Uh, sorry. Right. <clears throat> That's being in the moment, and I think humans should do this more often. Imagine if they got as excited as we do, going to work every day or seeing the same people or... Or, or, or paying on... No, 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 no. No, no that's just you. <laughs> right, but I agree. I really enjoy our journey. It's like when we travel in the car. Oh, car trip. <laughs> Isn't it exciting that we get to stick our heads out the window, smell the air and feel the wind? <sighs> So what you're saying, if I've got this right, is we should live more in the moment, enjoy the journey, and not be so um, attached to the outcome? Yes, I know you get upset when I get stuff from my whiskers, but it really doesn't worry me. You should learn to chill out a bit. Oh, Artemis. Okay, what else can we learn? Oh, I really wish humans would stop judging. Judging? They judge other people. They judge themselves. Life is so much easier when you're just so excited to see other people. We're not saying you should go around sniffing each other's bottoms. Um, no. <laughs> but I think they could treat everyone a little kinder, including themselves. Oh yes, be loyal and dependable and treat people how you would like to be treated. We just love to welcome people and cuddle them. Whether they like it or not. And win them over with cuteness. And we never hold a grudge. Uh, it's true. You do seem to love me unconditionally. You know, you wag your tails or little bottoms every time that you see me, no matter what mood you're in. Is that true? Yes, we love you to bits, Mum, and we'll instantly forgive you no matter how you behave. That's because we do love you unconditionally. That makes the world a better place, right? Well, it certainly makes my world better. We're just so lucky to have you in our lives. Oh, someone feed me. You humans should be grateful too for all the amazing people and things you have in your life. It's such a good feeling. And in a way, they feed you. I never thought about it like that. And what's with all this worry about who's got a better house, bigger, better car, more friends, or has a better relationship? Right, I don't care if my dog bed's more expensive. Or my collar has more bling. We just love that you look after us and spend time with us. Isn't that what life's about? Oh, you're right, guys. It's not about comparing ourselves with others. It's about finding happiness in ourselves and what we have, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with wanting more. Ambition's healthy. I want more food. That's my ambition. But it shouldn't consume us and make us bitter. I really want more food. So guys, what's the one thing that you don't think we do enough of? Playing. Playing? Definitely playing. We can do fun things that make you happy. We do stuff that's fun and makes us happy all the time. Play with balls. Chasing cats. Jumping in puddles. It's all so much fun. You don't see us sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves or worrying about things that might never happen. So you're saying making time to play. You know what? You're right. That's so obvious, but we forget. I blame money. Yeah. Makes get rid of money. Tired. Get rid of money. Get rid of money? But we can't get rid of money. It makes the world go round. But you spend so much time worrying about it. And trying to get more of it. At the very least, stop talking about it all the time. There are more important things. Yellow bottoms and bones and cuddles and smoochies. Oh, you two smooching. It's very insightful, you two. We'll take that on board. So have we got any final tips? Enjoy the quiet moments like this. 
Just take a break and chill out. Bean bags. What? Everyone should have a bean bag. Bean bags are awesome. How often do humans just chill out in a bean bag without feeling guilty? I'm guessing not often enough. Sometimes when you get stressed out, we just wish you'd take some quiet space so you can clear your head. Especially in a bean bag. Thank you. Some really great insights. So, be in the moment. Don't judge. Be grateful for what you have. Play. Take time to relax and be kind. Artemis and Apollo, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Feed me. I'm tired. What? I mean, you're welcome. Thanks, guys.